In this week's episode of Working with Todoist, I'm going to show you a simple trick that can help to reduce your overwhelming lists. Hello and welcome to another episode of Working with Todoist. My name is Carl Pauline and in this week's episode I've got a simple trick you can use to help reduce your overwhelm in Todoist. Now I can't promise this is going to reduce your email overwhelm but it actually brings the two together. Now the reason for this is simply because I see a lot of people are using the email forwarding system or method to get emails that they need to action into Todoist inbox, which on the surface sounds like a great idea. The problem is, is your email, your Todoist inbox is also collecting all the other stuff that you've got. And at the end of the day, when you look at your inbox and you've got 15, 20, sometimes 30 tasks in there, you just don't have the energy or the willpower to actually process your inbox. So it carries forward to the next day. And then soon before long, you've got over a hundred tasks in your inbox that you just cannot, you just don't have. It's not really a case of cannot have be bothered to, but it's more a case of you just don't have the energy at the end of the day to process your inbox. And then eventually you just have to give yourself an hour or two to sit down on a weekend when really you should be enjoying yourself and relaxing to process that inbox. So I've got a simple trick that you can use just to help you reduce that overwhelm. Before we go into Todoist and email, I would just like to say if you like this video, please click on that like button below. And if you haven't subscribed to my channel yet, oh, please subscribe. OK, let's go into Todoist and email and I'll show you how to do this. So this is one of the reasons why having a separate routines folder is so useful when you are creating your own system in Todoist because you can keep your routines, the stuff that are not actually important, out of the way when you're doing the work. So as you, as you know, if you followed me for some time, I have my objectives, my today's focus, then next actions and my golden 10. And I've done many videos on that, so I'm not going to go into that today. So once you've completed all these, what you can do is move into routines. Now, for those of you who don't mind having a, quite a few items in your favorite section, you can actually add this project to favorites. And <laughs> I've got to find how to do that. And there you go, you just click on that, add to favorites. Now the problem is, is the way that favorites work is it goes by order of project, label uh, and filter. So if you don't mind it up at the top there, then that's great. So as you're working through the day, at the end of the day, you can go into your routines and you can now click on that and sure enough, you have your routines. Now, as you go down here, what you see is I have a routine and I do have this in my reel. This is my demo account, but I do have this in my real Todoist account and it is written exactly as it is here. Clear action today folder in email. So as I'm doing my end of day routines, if you like, I'm looking through this and thinking, oh yes, I need to go into my action today folder. What I would do and now, I don't usually use Gmail. This again is just a demo account, but I have here my action today label as they would call it or category as they call it in in Gmail and this is here. So all I have to do now is I would go through these uh, emails one by one and I would just delete them now, uh, deal with them and then archive them. So here you can see I've actually got some which are a little bit late, um, but that's just because this is just a demo purposes. But I would have a rule that these have to be dealt with within the next within 24 hours. So the this email, for example, being the 3rd of February, which was yesterday, needs to be sorted out for tomorrow or today. And I would go through my emails just like this. Uh, it would be nice if you could reorder your um, 
emails from oldest to newest, but, and I'm sure that if I played around with the settings, I could actually get that set up. But that's essentially what you do. So in Todoist, you have in your routines folder, which you check every day, you repeat this every single day. Um, so it comes up here every day, as you can see there, every day and you will get your task done. So you can clear your Action Today folder. This is far, far better than using your inbox to dump all your, I mean, I could end up with what, I've got one, two, three, four, six emails here. I could have sent six emails to my inbox, which means that I go here, oh yes, go back here, go here, go back here. You know, it's just time consuming. Instead, having a simple routine which tells you clear action today folder in email, you just go to one folder and bang, off you go, and you can actually get the emails cleared. And that's it. Very simple tip this week. Hopefully you enjoyed it. Uh, if you have any questions that you have about this, please feel free to ask me at any time. Just leave a comment in the comment section below. It just remains for me now to wish you all a very, very productive week. Thank you for watching this video. Now, if you want to take your productivity to a higher level, then get yourself enrolled in my 2019 edition of Your Digital Life 2.0 online. It is a complete, comprehensive productivity and time management course, and it's a course that will take you to levels of productivity you have only ever dreamt of before. It shows you how to build your very own COD system, collect, organize, and do. It shows you how to create the folder structure, how to build into your, your goals, into your daily to-do list. It has everything. And not only that, you will get a free copy of Your Digital Life 2.0, the book. You also get a free workbook and you get access to all the slides that are used in the course. It is incredible value. I want to see you in that course. If you are serious about becoming productivity, then please join me in Your Digital Life 2.0, the 2019 edition. Thank you very much for watching this video.